Hey guys, welcome back to About Technology. In this video, I am going to show you how to make speed ramp in an easiest way. So let's start. But before starting, we must know what is speed ramping. Speed ramping is when you gradually change the speed of your video clip. Let's look at an example here. Initially, we could see that the boy is running with a standard speed, then his speed gradually increased and again it get back to the standard speed. So how to do this in a normal video? For that, I have a video of a boy running here and I have to apply a speed ramp to this clip. So just right click on the clip and select Retime Controls. It will add the speed arrows to your clip. Now the next thing that you have to do is place the playhead at the position where you want to change the speed. Now click the down arrow beside this 100% and select add speed point. If you can notice, you have added the first speed point to your clip. Now let's add the next speed point. For that, place the playhead at the position where you want to change your speed again. And again perform the same step. Click on this down arrow and click on add speed point. Now you have added two speed points to your clip. We'll be fastening the speed of this middle portion. For that, you have to click on this down arrow and select change speed. Here at max you can change the speed of your clip to 800% only. So let's click on this 800. If you can notice after changing the speed of this middle portion the size of the clip has been reduced. Now to make speed ramping more effective we'll slow down the speed of this beginning part and the end part. For that click on this down arrow of the beginning part and here you have to change speed to 75%. Now Let's do the same with the end part. Click on the down arrow and change speed to 75%. Now the beginning and the end part has been slowed down and the middle part has been fastened. So now let's play the clip and see the effects. If you have noticed, the change in the speed is not fluid. That is, the speed of the video changes suddenly when it crosses the speed points. We can notice this visibly that here the video is running at 75% of speed and then it suddenly changes to 800% and then here it suddenly changes to 75%. So to make the change fluid we have to right click on the clip and this time we have to select retime curves. This will start showing you a graph below the clip but this graph represents the retime frame. Let me show you. Let's expand the timeline and if you can see it is the retime frame graph. But here, as we are playing with the speed, we have to retrieve the speed graph. For that, you have to click on this down arrow. And here, you have to select Retime Speed. And deselect Retime Frame. Now that's the speed graph. If you can notice, here the speed is 75% and it suddenly changes to 800% and it suddenly changes here to 75% again. Let us make this more smoother. For that, you have to click on this line and here you will get two nodes. So select this first node and click on curves. This is the linear one and this is the curve. So select the first node and click on curve. Do the same with second node. Select the node and click on curve. As you stretch this point, you can see that the graph is going smoother. Let's do the same here. Let's stretch this out to make graph more smoother. Now let's again play the clip. You can see that there is a smooth change in the speed now. So that's how we can apply speed ramp to a video. If you want to know how to crop your videos in DaVinci Resolve, please click on the video at the top right corner of your screen. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more DaVinci Resolve videos, please subscribe this channel. It will notify you when any new video comes out. Feel free to comment below what other new videos would you like to see in future. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next. Bye bye.